a quick tutorial for how to get the green screen effect in Adobe After Effects. My hair probably looks really stupid right now because I just took my hat off. So what you're going to need is a professional green screen is best if you can afford it, which is $300, and if you could afford that, it's most likely you already know how to do the green screen effect. So, anyway, what you can use is a green or blue bed sheet, That's, that works really well, or a pillowcase or a shirt for small projects. And, and speaking of shirts, just a side note, don't wear anything the same color as your blue screen slash green screen, because I mean, you don't wear a green tie when you're going to be using a green screen because that's retarded to be a complete dumbass to do that. So anyway, this is how you do it. Just a quick note, when you make your green or blue screen videos, make sure they suck less than that. Because that was, it was just a demonstration so I can get away with it. But you can't. You actually have to do something good. And in fact, if you do, just post it as a video response to this video. Alright, so here we go. So I'm just going to quickly show you the end result of what you can do. So basically I animated this explosion and then I just put me in it. A little bit of subliminal messaging there, I don't know if you noticed it. Okay, so anyway, we're going to go... New project. Yeah, sure. Okay, so... You're going to import file, and you're going to import... Your blue or green screen clip. So here we go. <coughs> oh god. Oh god, the phlegm. No, I'm just kidding. So, we are going to go into the Effects and Presets panel. Now, we're going to scrub forward to... Now, let me just say this. You're going to need really good lighting. Because if you don't, um, it's, it's going to be really hard to key out and it's not going to look very good. Also, don't stand too close to your blue screen or green screen or else you're going to cast shadows. So, anyway, scrub forward to a place where you can see everything that is going to be in frame. Because you don't want to start, you know, like, here, and, you know, g blue screen that out, and then turn out, I walk in, and then half of me is missing. <coughs> okay, sorry. So now, we are going to go into the effects and presets panel, and we're going to go keying, color range. And you're going to get this, and you're going to see that happens. That reminds me. Turn this on. It's so you can, so the checkerboard represents what is going to be transparent and that's very important that you have that on okay so here we go you're gonna click on the first eyedropper and you're gonna click anywhere in the blue so this happens and you can see that bits transparent now what we're gonna do is click on the second eyedropper and then just drag your cursor over all of the blue there we go so that's a basic outline <coughs> now that you wouldn't use that because I mean you know, I got this blue outline around me. So then go into mat, simple choker, and then choke the mat into the negative. So now you're going to have this little halo around your person or object. Go back into keying and go key light. Click on the screen color eyedropper and click on your blue outline. So this is a basic green uh, green or blue screen but as you can see there's an outline there a bit of outline there a bit of orange there so what you have to do is go change the view mode to screen mat <coughs> and the way this works everything that is white will be visible and everything that is black will not be visible so what you have to do is go into the screen mat drop down and clip the black and clip the white until Everything you want to see is completely white. Just like that. So we're going to go back into final result. And yes, I do look orange in this part until there. Now as you can see here, it's a good thing I scrubbed through because I would have missed this and I would have had all this blue in the background. So I'm going to go back into screen mat. And I'm going to clip the black some more. 
There we go. Scrub through once more. Okay, back to final result. And there's your basic um, blue or green screen. Now the problem is this is really pixely, so we're going to add some screen pre-blur. Just put that up to maybe maybe two. That'll do. Um, so now we got this little outline here. So what we do to get rid of that is we go back under the screen mat options and it says screen shrink slash grow. We're going to slightly lower that until gets rid of most of the outline. So let's check that out. And that's not bad. So that's how you do a basic blue or green screen effect. Now, the way you save this is a little different. You go composition, add to render queue. You're supposed to do that with all your projects. It's a lot better than going file export. So now you're in here. What you're going to do is change lossless. Now, see where it says channels, RGB? What you're going to do is change it to RGB and alpha. You can put turn on audio output if you want. So there you go. Now what you're just going to do is render and then find your clip and then you're just going to have this and you could just put whatever you want behind it. So you could just get like you know, a background like I did before. I had an explosion that I made and you can just put it behind it. So that's that's it. So I'd really appreciate if you guys could subscribe and rate and comment because I'm really trying to get my channel off the ground, so that would be greatly appreciated. Alright, thanks for watching.